Lord El Kuntare, Master Ryuho Okawa, thank you very much for giving us another day with new life, for our spiritual growth and creating utopia on earth. With our sincere gratitude, let us recite the true words spoken by Buddha, prayer to the Lord, and prayer to guardian and a guiding spirit. The true words spoken by Buddha, Ryuho Okawa. There used to be the light in the great universe. The light is the energy of Buddha. People can live by this energy, and Buddha's energy has made human history. It will be supplied eternally. This eternal light comes from heaven and prevails on earth. This is the light of heaven. There is a prism of Buddha. There appears the seven colors of rainbow arching over in a sky. Here you can see Buddha's mercy. Yellow is the color of teaching. White is the color of saving. Red is the color of justice. Purple is the color of obedience. Blue is the color of thinking. Green is the color of harmony. Silver is the color of progress. These seven colors help each other, and there appears Buddha land. Buddha land is shining brightly because of gathering of bodhisattvas. This is the land of love or the land of mercy. This is the land of wisdom or the land of teaching. Especially, this is the land of souls rest in peace. Real souls are the children of Buddha. The children of Buddha became real human beings. Real human beings have spirituality. The spirits are immortal powers. The spirits are immortal forces. The spirits are real entities. The physical bodies are the shadows of the spirit. It means you are the boat sailing down the great river. The great river is a symbol of the course of lives. Each of you sails down as a small boat, so you need a boatman. If it were not for your own boatman, you surely go aground. This boatman really means your mind. If your mind makes a mistake, the boat breaks into pieces by a large rock, and you also need a bamboo pole. This pole is the meaning of the true word. When you go down a rapid stream, you need to pond in a stream. Then you can change your course. The true word means the teaching of Buddha. Buddha enlightened and spoke the true word. And Buddha's teaching became a gold mine. This gold mine suggests various teachings. These are another expression of Buddha's truth. It brightens up your days. Or to put it another way, the fruit of Buddha's mercy. All of you, now, here, listen to me. Never lose your way, now and forever. The guiding hand has already way. Please follow this right hand and go straightly on and on. Your lives are not limited to this world only. They have three aspects, the past, the present, the future. Your past have already gone by. Yet still, your mistakes will be kept in your mind. That is the reason why you should understand other people, and you yourself should reflect on what you have done. You and others are not different. On the contrary, both are children of Buddha and brothers and sisters. Now then, love each other. Let us bring up each other and it's time to forgive each other. This is eternal law, which penetrates the present and the future. Yes, indeed, the light of the dark night. The dark night of this world is hell. It is also the same in another world. Since we came down to this world, the sun of the truth is scheduled to rise. Now we are watching rising sun. 
a virtual light to the future to invite some people to Buddha land. Now, here I command, there shall not be conflict in this world. There shall not be distrust in this world. There shall not be crime in this world. There shall not be evil spirit in this world. There shall not be the devil in the next world. Only the ideal world, utopia, shall be realized. All of the people love each other, live harmoniously, believe in one another. That world is utopia. All of us could be the light of bodhisattvas, believe in that the light has reality, believe in that love has reality, believe in that the truth has reality. These are the facts that should be conveyed. We, the light of bodhisattvas, get together, work together to keep right mind and live in tune with Buddha's word. Here we vow to do so. Prayer to the Lord. Our Lord El Cantare, you are the source of all light, all power, all wisdom, and all love. May you give us light, give us power, give us wisdom, and give us love. O Lord, our Father, please protect this planet of love first. Protect us from all evil and open a future for us. O oh Lord, thank you for giving us light. We give thanks from the bottom of our heart. Prayer to a guardian and a guiding spirit. My guardian and a guiding spirit, deep inside of me, you are the fountain of life, the light of hope, the source of wisdom, and a shield of courage. Every day, may you help me develop my soul and refine my mind. Every day, may you give me inspiration and show me the right path to follow. Please protect me from all evil and guide me in living a better life. For this, I give my thanks. Now we will have time to dedicate our deepest gratitude to the Lord. Good morning everyone. Thank you for joining Happy Science Morning Prayer. 
Today's topic is Conquer the Loneliness. So I first I want to introduce a news article from New York Times. It's a bit old from last year, 2020 March, but the topic is the paradox of epidemics and isolation. And it says like this, the Health Resources and Services Administration caution that loneliness can be as damaging to the health as smoking 15 cigarettes a day. Feeling of isolation and loneliness can increase the likelihood of depression, high blood pressure, and deaths from heart disease. They can also affect the immune system's ability to fight infection, a fact that's especially relevant uh, during a pandemic. So many of us are being asked uh, to stay at home for a long time. And many of us, I think, have been staying at home and we don't really have much chance to talk to people. And this situation get easily to feel loneliness or isolation. Today, I want to introduce the key to conquer the loneliness from this Master Duho Okawa's book, uh, The Human Condition and Beyond This World. This is Master's lecture given by English in English, so we can direct, directly feel the life from Master's work by reading this. So first, Master explain about the difference between human and animal in this book. Uh, he says like this. In this context, I want to use the word love to mean conquering the loneliness of everyone. Animal cannot conquer the loneliness through some techniques, their thought or religion. We human are also living in a concrete jungle or buildings and feeling loneliness. But we can and must fight against this loneliness by love in the real meaning of love and in the religious meaning of love. Master says like this, so the key to conquer the loneliness is love and religion. The master also mentioned in this book, there are two types of people living in this world. One types of people, uh, those living in only concerning about themselves, or at least concerning about their family, and they don't believe in another world. They don't believe in God. And most of us uh, belong to that group of people. And another group of people, uh, and the first group of people, uh, Master said, lives in private room. And another group of people, Master says, they live in public room. And what their what kind of their people living in public room? They live not only for themselves, but they're on, always thinking about the world. They're always concerning about the world and other people. And they also believe in another world. And Master says, those kind of people have worldliness in their mind. Worldliness in their mind. So, and Master also says, those kind of people living in public realm can, be, uh, can concentrate on their mind. They can concentrate on their mind. They can go deep inside of their mind and look what they have in the bottom of their mind. That is called meditation. Calm your mind and concentrate your mind and look what you have in your mind. And Master says like this about contemplation. Be immersed in, be immersed in, into the bottom of your heart, into the bottom of your heart and look inside of you. What can you find in the bottom of your heart? 
be immersed in means if you are in the sea, you aim to swim to the bottom of the sea. I mean spiritual sea. This is the meaning of be immersed in. So sea means your mind. And as you go deeply to your mind, you will find peace in your mind. And Master mentioned there are three styles of peace. First, you will find peace of mind. Peace of mind. And as you go deeply, next you will find peace in mind. Peace in mind. And eventually, you will become peace itself. So those steps, finding the different level of peace, is a way for us religious people to improve our life. And by practicing meditation and find the step of peace, it will lead you to live contemplative life. Master recommends us to live on contemplative life. This is a way of living. And contemplative life means like at night you can take some time after work and concentrate on your mind. But not only that, we can live in meditation on a daily basis. Even if you're during work time, you can concentrate on your mind and find what, what you have in your mind. And if you become a contemplative person, then you can find a diamond or a pearl in your mind. So what is a diamond or pearl? That means your true self or your Buddha nature that you have in your mind. Uh, we are human, are essentially a light, light itself. We branched off from God long time ago. So we're essentially a light, and by practicing meditation, we can find that we are, we have light, we have peace in our, in our mind. So meditation means shutting worldly aspect from from your mind and connect to heavenly world, connect to God. And believing another world is essential. If you don't believe in and you practice meditation, it really doesn't make sense. So believing in another world and in God is essential. And by practicing meditation, and if you can discover the connection to the God, you will receive the light directly from the God and you can find your true self, true, uh, your Buddha nature, and when you come to that stage, a worldly attachment or any worry or sadness or loneliness can uh, naturally remove from your mind. Um, you can connect to the God and you will feel the love from God. And when you grasp that, you will become a really happy person. So. If you're interested in doing meditation, please contact our Happy Science Nearest Temple or to our website. We have a variety of meditation at our temple. Okay, and also we're showing the movie Laws of the Universe, the, the Age of Elohim, this movie. So please contact us if you're interested in watching this movie. All right, so this concludes Happy Science Morning Prayer. Be strong and brave. Stay positive, powerful, and constructive. Have a nice day.